This is Yang Trader, and it is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, yesterday, the API report came out here on crude, and you had a draw of 2.7 million. Gasoline had a draw of 4.2 million. This list had a draw of 2.3 million, and Cushing had a build of 0.5 million. Now, the EIA report will be out today at 10.30, so we'll see if it will confirm. So as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, come on the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, let's take a look here on the daily. Pick that up a little bit. Okay, now, yesterday's low, it got all the way down to uh, 82.94, okay? So if we look at this candle right here, Okay, and we look at the closing. So just look up on top. You had your high of 83.28, your low of 81.50, and then your closing at 82.81. Okay, that closing number provided support here for yesterday's candle. So when you look at candlesticks, you always look at the high, the low, and the closing numbers. Okay, so let's just see what we have today. So far, it's just an inside day. So what you want to do is you want to look at yesterday's low at that 82.94. You want to look at this closing number here um, at 82.81. And then we want to look here at this retest of 81.50, okay? So, again, if that is lost here, then we come right down here to your 21 SMA here. You're sitting at 81.10 uh, here. We have your 100-day at um, uh, 80.63. Then we come over to your 50-day here. You're looking at uh, 78.22. And then your big target right here is going to be that 78.15 uh, here. If, big F, if that 81.15 there is lost. Okay. Now, on the upside, well, so far today's high was 84.01. So then what we have to do is just follow the candle sticks up. So then what we want to do is look to this candle right here, okay? So that's 84.67, the bottom of that candle. Okay, then what we do is we come over here and we'll look at this candle here, the bottom, which is 85.35. And then the big, big uh, resistance level here is going to be the 50-day here at 86.03. Then you have your 8 SMA here at uh, 86.61, and then your 21 day at 86.85. Now you can see this 8 SMA here. See how this rolled right back over again? See, it was doing very, very good off of this bullish. I pointed out this candle here. You had a bull flag going here, went up, but just couldn't really get up much. Okay, that was right into that war uh, escalation here. Okay, so. When you have a war, remember, you always have a premium there, of usually 5 to $10 here on the crude. So you have to be very, very careful, you know, with that. Uh, uh, so, because if it sells off and this turns, this can come down really, really hard. So we don't know what's going to happen here yet. But when you look at this eight day, see how that rolled over there? That's not pretty. So as the 21 day is coming down, the eight day is coming down, if it crosses this 50 day, it'll take that price right on down. Okay, but we don't worry about that exactly right now. What we worry about here is if it does ride up, your big target is going to be that 50 day, it's going to be the eight day, and it's going to be your 21 day here. Uh, that is going to be your big target. On the downside, always watch the previous day's candle. You want to watch that uh, 82.94 and then this 81.50 for the retest. Now, here on your weekly chart here, well, your RSI is starting to roll down here. Your MACD here, it still has a, a bullish cross, but if it rolls below, that green goes below the red, that's where you get the sell off there. So on a downside, always watch this key 21 here uh, for the, but again, this is a weekly here. Uh, I always, and I also pointed out here this bear flag. I just said, which one's gonna play out here? This, the bull flag did play out for a little while, but then when he had that indecision candle here last week, that bear flag, uh, very, very pronounced, and then boom, here we come right on down. All right, let's take a look here on the old natty gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, okay, your uh, daily and your weekly chart. Now, we had a low right here, okay, this candle right here was 2.86. So if we look at the, uh, the other side of the chart here, what did you have here? You got 2.85 here, 2.86. That is your support level. It never made it down to this key level right here, this 2.82, which lines up very nice here with this uh, uh, 2.83, your 50 SMA. Now, she rallied up here. We got a, um, a higher high yesterday, but 
you know, I always point out this eight SMA. See where did it go? Right into that ASMA. See, that's why you trade the charts. Now, again, if you can get above this eight SMA here, then your target here is going to be this key 21 SMA sitting at 3.08. And then we have your 50 day here sitting at um, uh, 3.09 here on your uh, weekly chart here. So that would be your upside resistance here. The key is going to be this eight day. Is it going to keep on pushing it uh, down and take that price right on down? Or is the price going to go up above this, have that eight day curl up, and then we head towards the 21 day? Okay. So on the downside, always watch yesterday's a low here. You got 2.87. Uh, we have uh, 2.86. And then this is going to be crucial level right here, this 2.83. And then right here, what we have here, this is that gap, okay, 2.82. And then at top of this candle, 2.66, there's your fill. So you always have your gap and fill. Always keep your mind eye on that here. Maybe he's not going to do it today or tomorrow, whatever. But eventually, those gaps always get filled here. But right now, just watch yesterday's low. Watch this 50-day. If that's lost, then we can come down to this 100 SMA here. Now, on your weekly here, we have... Uh, 2.90 that eight days so far is holding up real time natural gas is sitting at uh, basically 2.96 here so we're above this here just keep uh, level of support but again if it rallies up here you're going to have the 8 the 21 day and then that key 50 day is going to be your upside targets again if you can get above the 50 day well then we just start taking all these candles right on up here then okay then you got that 3.13 we have uh 3.15 here and then you always want to look to the top of this candle this is 3.18 but see that's the gap and then look to the bottom of that candle there 3.20 there's your fill so gap and fill so if you can get above this 8 21 and 50 your target is going to be this gap and this fill right there before she goes higher but always them gaps and fills are like you know magnets to a fridge or they're the big time target so your RSI here is still looking, you know, you're right in the center here, looking good here. Your uh, MACD, well, you're still headed down here. It hasn't curled up at all here yet. So we got to see basically today what is going to be here on this key 8 SMA here. That is going to be the hotel of uh, today. That'll be the tail, as they say. Okay, so what we have here on uh, Thursday, you'll have the natural gas EIA report out at 1030. We'll see if we have any kind of a weather or any kind of a disruption take uh, natty gas a little bit higher or if not then we know what the support levels are here and then watch that key 50 sma all right i'll have more for you on neo kutsky and natty gas here after the pit close and thanks for watching